Nick Setti. I'm Head of Integrated Test Management at the BCCF. Hi, I'm Michael Carr. I'm the Horticultural Apprentice here at OSGF. And today we're going to be talking to you about the periodical cicadas. There's two types of cicadas, the periodical cicada, which are emerging now, and the annual cicada that uh, emerge every year. In the U.S., there's seven different species of periodical cicada uh, and 15 um, different broods. We're in brood 10, uh, many call it brood X. Here are um, some pinned annual cicadas, which are much larger and chunkier uh, and longer, and up against the periodical cicada, uh, which is smaller, uh, with red eyes. There are several different stages in a cicada's life cycle. First, they begin as an egg, which are oviposited in trees uh, at the end of one of these periodical emergences. Uh, at that point, they'll fall, they'll hatch into a nymph, fall from the tree into the ground, and burrow underground, where they'll be for 17 years. There, they're active throughout the entirety of their lifespan. Um, they're burrowing through the tree roots and feeding on the xylem uh, and other plant fluids underground. After the 17 years have elapsed. They'll work their way to the surface, climb trees, and emerge as adults. And these stages are egg, the nymph, the small brown shed that you usually find on the tree, but if you can get them before they emerge, um, this is the nymph. Once they climb a tree and begin to emerge, they'll resemble an adult form, but they'll be a pale white. And this, is, this stage is called a tenoral. In this form, they're very fragile. Once they've successfully hardened their, their newly emerged body, they'll resemble, they'll resemble what you see out flying now. And they'll continue living the next four to six weeks of their life, gliding through the air, feeding on tree twigs, and mating. Cicadas do do some damage to young uh, trees and shrubs, but larger trees uh, and older trees uh, very limited damage, um, if any. Uh, as nymphs, they feed on fluid within the roots of the trees and shrubs um, and do damage that way, uh, and mainly to young plants, again. Dead cicadas and discarded cicada shells add nitrogen and other nutrients to the soil around trees. So they do take away from the tree by feeding on them for 17 years, but also give back. Cicadas are safe to eat. <laughs>
100 degrees. So these were the ones that have been blanched for two minutes. And then you just want to check them. I haven't decided yet. I think it's kind of nice for them to not be totally cooked all the way through. So these guys are a little squishy, but the outsides are definitely crispy. Their legs are definitely crispy. They'll kind of like hang on to me, which is creepy, but here we all are. Um, so that's what you're looking for for candying them. I guess that'd be a good way to describe it. That is so good. I didn't get the barbecue anywhere in here. That was maybe we have to, that was raw. That was like crispy. Okay. What's more about what's in this game? A little chewy. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's crunchier than I expected. Yeah. The uh, this campy is with our the green dressing garlic, is great. so I did like all the way up and just some shallots. And I just it doesn't taste like animal to me, and I also expected the eyes to like pop or something. Mm. Mm. There's really no texture difference between the eyes and the rest of the body. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm I'm comfortable touching them now. I don't know. I like touch bugs. Not, yeah. Well, I touch bugs in nature, but I think like it was just weird. It's like a culinary. Yeah, area. yeah. All right, we got you. Yeah, like Beer center. Yeah. 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 It is white wine and. Uh, Actually, that's really good. I have a female. You can see it's ovipositor right here. Oh. And okay. she's not screaming. And he has a male. You can tell by his little, uh, the tip of his abdomen. No ovipositor. All right. You can always chase it with one of these, too. Yeah, I love those. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. That's fun. 